Beautiful day here. Um, welcome to the studio here in Beijing. This is a, a shot of me, which I would normally have, probably have if I'm speaking to you as students, and we can interact this way. Um, most of the time at our, at our locations in China, they're using a projection system, and it projects not on these televisions, but on a very, very large screen. So I'm looking really, really big to them, and I can say study hard and work hard, and I look fearsome like the, the Wizard of Oz kind of <laughs> looked to them. But um, we can interact this way pretty well. Uh, from this particular view, uh, you see just me. And, of course, we could put logos like this behind me or whatever we may want. You know, Spratcha is wonderful kind of thing right there. And they can see all these uh, great things for from here, and uh, the, the studio is very functional and very useful. I've uh, applied a muted background in the back with a curtain so that it uh, doesn't interfere with basic colors or tones, and it creates a really comfortable, pleasing background, mostly for the students. From this position, I can shift easily, and we use presets here. Presets really help a great deal because the presets allow me to have flexibility to move within the classroom, and it looks like it's flowing free. So I can go basically from here in this position and flow right into a position where I have a very large screen TV right here. I can interact with this television easily and make points and key points and be just like I am in a normal classroom. Or we can interact and talk and I can say, well, here's a key thing I want you to know, know this and this, and I can move into the screen. You see me and the screen at the same time. And it really works very pleasantly. I also have a screen down here at the bottom, which is an additional screen, which actually employs better color and better positioning. So I use this screen kind of to talk to. And then if I want to go directly to the slide or PowerPoint or what I want, I can get a clearer image with this one. And I'll show you the difference in a minute. But very much so, we could say hello or welcome or something. And if I want to put something on here that advances this or moves us on, we can do so with uh, this thing here called the Art of Chinese Cooking. Um, and this kind of From thing. this, I can go directly into and still have my hand here directly to this. And then I can interact very easily with the image itself. I could actually come up and pick the flowers if I wanted to and take them with me. It works really well for us. Or I can go to number four, which is the actual screen itself, which shows even better, more clear colors. And it's also a better balance in the picture. Um, <laughs> from this position, we can do any kind of PowerPoints. We can move things on, and we can see different kinds of things that we may want to do in a presentation, like the art of Chinese cooking. And I can do some different kinds of call-outs here. Learn the best way to cook this great traditional Chinese dish. I have to use much larger fonts than normal um, to be able to see uh, well. You need a font size probably of at least almost 34 to 40. These are about 60 is a font size. Uh, you need that size to make good clarity of uh, presentations. The people on the other side can see it. So I overlay things. I, I have things that kind of come up and come over so that this would come on, and then we would transition from this to other words. This moves down. Uh, the slide moves forward. Uh, we can have another call out that would come up. Then we have, here's an easy Chinese sweet and sour pork recipe. Very clear, very big words. Um, I can overlay again more words so that we can, you know, basically sweet and sour pork is an easy to prepare Chinese dish. And in the background now we can fade in and show some pictures of perhaps uh, cooks in a cooking school learning how to cook and we can teach them how to you know, do sweet and sour pork. So we, we have several different ways we can you know, maneuver within this system. Also, if we move on, I can even go over to uh, a whiteboard, which is on this side. I've kind of drawn a little picture here of a welcome. And in a sense, we can zoom in, and I've drawn a tiny sketch of the room that I'm in. And I can come over here, and I can easily interact. Of course, I'm fairly large because this is small, but you can see my hand here. But I can say I'm in a room, basically, that has, it's a room within a room. And around the room, people can sit. There's a long window here. There's seats on the outside. It's soundproofed, so they can look in and watch me. I also have some chairs on the inside. Phoebe's here sitting with me, and she's in one of those chairs watching me also. 
I'm here in the room, this section here, and in front of me is a large green TV and I see all of you. In addition, I have the camera directly above the TV, so when I look at the camera, I can also see you at the same time. I always want to look into the camera as if the camera was a person and I'm interacting with that person. Now the camera looks at a preset of the TV screen, a preset of me and the TV screen, a preset of me and the whiteboard, one of the whiteboard, one of the whole room, several different presets. And I just have to get used to using, and people who teach this way, have to get used to using presets and flow through the conversation, preset to preset, so that the students feel that they're in a real classroom with a real person, and they're just moving around the room, and they get to move with them. So I can actually kind of go from here, in a way, and move back further, and be at my whiteboard, and then come over and then be in the entire room where I have the whiteboard and the television with me. I can transition quickly over to the television, go directly into the television, and come back again if I want, or come directly to me and interact with you. No problem with this at all. The room is very functional, very easy. It's a simple design, but very effective. And all the teacher has to do is, is learn how to just do six presets, and they're ready to go. There's no other sophisticated complication to this particular delivery at all. We David, it's Dina talking. The thing yes. I most like to see is the interaction between the classrooms. That, for me, if we're talking about ESL or TESOL, is the part I don't understand exactly how a speaking activity or, or how we get that really, really good communicative um, work between the classrooms. So I wouldn't Of mind course, sure. And, and unfortunately, I don't have a live class here. When I teach, like to Weifeng or Zhengzhou or other places like that, there's a lot of times where I'll ask them to repeat words or say words. We can have some translation between us or different things. Uh, I have the students often write things down or we discuss things. Uh, normally on this, I may have a question written as well as I ask the question. The better use of it is to have your question pre-done for your class. Like, what do you think of sweet and sour pork? Is it one of your favorite things? Let me ask you. I mean, you're all there. Have all of you eaten sweet and sour pork? <laughs> yeah, I know. It takes a long time. Um, when you go to restaurants, do you normally order that, or do you order something else? <coughs> something else, yeah. Something else. No sweet and sour <laughs> pork. Let me, let me canvas you. The ones that I can see. Actually, I can see about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of you right now uh, in the actual screen. I think. See, I can take attendance here. Raise your hand if you're here. Okay, we've got everybody I can see has got their hand up. Great. See, I can do that interactively, and I can tell all those. <laughs> Very good. Now, these kind of interactive little anecdotes you can do pretty easy with students. Um, let's see. Isabella, what's your most favorite food? Wow. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, for me, it's like... Uh, Anything that moves. <laughs> 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 Moves are used to move. 